Hello everybody, my name is Shilskills and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Linus Tech Tips getting hacked and what that means for not only the rest of YouTubers, but what it means for the internet as a whole and why two-factor authentication and many different security necessities that we take for granted every day need to be double-checked constantly. Let's get into it. So for those of you who are unaware, Linus Tech Tips, essentially the godfather of tech YouTube, was hacked and his channels were temporarily taken away from him by crypto scammers. Now, this has actually been a pretty general hack that a lot of YouTubers have fallen victim to, and it's where they essentially just take down your channel and immediately take all the stuff that doesn't matter to them and puts up an Elon Musk crypto scam bullshit thing that's all AI generated live stream that links to an outside Bitcoin site where you can double your Bitcoin. Now, obviously this is a scam. Obviously this is not a good thing. Obviously Elon Musk isn't like behind this, but it's an AI generated scam that is actually taking people for granted and it's crippling channels across the board. Linus Tech Tips was able to get his accounts and stuff back. He made a YouTube video about that. You guys should go check it out. But what does this mean for the rest of YouTube and what does it mean for the rest of us? Essentially, the data that you're using on a daily basis browsing the internet is constantly potentially a victim of any type of identity theft, hacking, or anything. Any single time that you use a browser to access the internet or you use your computer in general, anytime you use a service like LastPass or go into online banking on your phone, even though you have biometric data, it is impossible for you to be completely safe, but to put as many barriers to entry as possible into your cybersecurity is only going to benefit you, is only going to create more hurdles for the hackers to have to jump over, and they will quit if there are more hurdles than there are people out there who would just immediately let them get in with a text message SMS, which isn't even safe anymore. There are no truly safe methods of locking all of your stuff up. At the end of the day, whether it's password by SMS, two-factor authentication with a separate app like Authy or Google Authenticate, you don't have every hurdle that you need to have put in place. You need to have multiple barriers to entry or you will never be safe. If it can happen to Linus Tech Tips, who is the guy who sits at the top of the mountain when it comes to tech YouTuber being at the forefront of all of the technologies and he lost his almost his whole business to a hacker who wanted to sell crypto it's it's impossible for me to explain to you how any person can access your information if given the proper tools and so making sure that those tools are not in the hands of anybody but yourself is extremely important take it from somebody who's gotten their identity stolen before it is a nightmare to have to be on these phone with institutions that don't care about you at all. Yeah, um, I, I find it very entertaining that the places, the, the things that I use that have the worst security um, are government services and banking services. The only person who cares about you is your family and yourself. And your family can't protect you from what the internet's hacking continues to bring. This isn't meant to be a PSA that's totally supposed to scare you. This was definitely a fear tactic for the last little bit of the video, but the whole point is to make sure that you're as safe as possible when browsing the internet. And at the end of the day, you're not in a better situation than I am. I need to lock down everything. This Linus Tech Tips example is another reason that we need to pressure companies to make sure that they have securities. Because at the end of the day, banks are falling victim to theft. All sorts of different other authentication companies. I mean, Authy, LastPass, Google, they have all have massive data breaches. We are not safe. These companies are taking shortcuts where they can to save money. And they have our data in their hands. So we have to make sure that whatever we give them we can back up and we can keep safe. And whatever we don't have to give them, we don't give them. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation, especially the Linus Tech Tips end of it, because I'm not a high-end security professional. I can't recommend to you exactly what to do, but you should do the research to make sure you're safe. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section down below. Like the video if you haven't, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.